All right, welcome back everybody. My name is Shalandi. First and foremost, I gotta say thank you to all the people out there that has been subscribing to the channel. All my friends, all the ones that I knew from a while ago. I really appreciate you guys showing me this support and it kind of makes me feel like, yo, you know, I could take this far and I could keep going with this. I really appreciate that feeling. I really appreciate you guys making me feel like this. So thank you so much. Also, I got some Haitian subscribers. You know, I gotta pull up some Haitian Creole in my in my videos. So I gotta say thank you to them too. Merci à tout le monde qui qui fait abonnement à la chaîne là. Moi vraiment apprécier ça et nous sommes vraiment contents pour me you know so what I have planned for you guys today is how you can make your own custom design t-shirt so basically what I'm saying is you can take a plain white t-shirt or a black t-shirt or I think any other color and then you put like say for example your picture on it it's not something people do anymore but I say you know what why not we don't care about like when these things get old or whatever but i say it's a pretty good skill to have and if you know how to do it you can pretty much impress anybody with that with that so it's pretty cool so today i have a few examples i have to show you of what i've done before and the like previously i had done this like with my white some white t-shirt i had where i put my drawings on them and like i literally printed so for example i got this one for you some of you might be familiar with this that's the Che Guevara drawing that I had on my book from the last video. And then basically I printed it on this. And you know, when I walk around with this shirt on, I just be like, hey, I did this. And then people be like, oh wow, you, that's pretty cool. And so the t-shirt I'm gonna be using for this video is gonna be this white t-shirt. I bought it from Forever 21. And you know, I like this shirt. So it's, I'm making a pretty big sacrifice here. So yeah. And then the picture I'm gonna put on it is, is basically a picture of myself. Because, I don't know, I love myself, you know, I, I think I look pretty good uh, sometimes and stuff like that. All right. So first thing you're going to need is a scissor. These are pretty easy to find. I'm pretty sure you have one laying around your house. Um, second thing you're going to need is an iron. Be careful with this. It may be hot. So when you're using it, whenever, just make sure you be careful with it. And it's going to be very, you're going to have to also be careful while in the process of you know doing your shirt and etc so you're gonna really need this um third thing you might need is like i don't know a tower so you're gonna need one to kind of like iron your shirt on i'm sorry i'm not, not even on the screen but you're gonna need one to like put down on a hard surface so you can iron your shirt and so you don't have to like have any wrinkles or anything like that when you're design. It's really important that you have that. And I think the fourth thing we're gonna need is, one second, is, is your papers. So the papers are pretty easy to find, I think. Um, you can order these online. They're pretty cheap. They come in pretty cheap. It might be from like a range of $5, $4 or so to like less than $10. They're pretty easy to find. Just search like transfer paper online and that's what you're gonna use to print your image on in order for you to get it like onto your shirt. And and every, all, all, oops, all the, all the design and everything, all the papers, comes with instructions so you have your instruction on how to on which papers which on, on like which paper you can use for like a black shirt or a white shirt so it comes in with like information which is pretty good I feel like less work for me so and finally the last and probably the hardest thing I feel like some of you will find is a printer I happen to be lucky and have one of those laying around my house but you're really gonna need one of these and mostly if your printer can print and color it will be even better because you can literally do any design like any design with any color any picture and you can make your shirt look dope you know you know they really can look really good so I think that's all you're really gonna need to really get started on your design so we can just jump into this video by me basically going to explain this to you right? and doing it in front of you guys and doing it with me so let's let's go all right so first guys what i have to do because the shirt was pretty wrinkled i had to like iron it to make sure 
that, you know, it, it looked good and so that when the image comes out, it looks better on the shirt. So we're just gonna quickly iron the shirt and then I'm gonna show you guys a quick model. So what I did, I printed the picture that I wanna put on the shirt and then I'm gonna show you how it may look like once this video is done. So for example, this is how it would look like once it's finished, but obviously it's not. Next step, we have our paper that we're gonna use. Um, and I'm basically gonna put it on the printer. And then I have my image already set up. I have my image already set up on the computer, which I am gonna print it from. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna press print here. I gotta make sure that I put it on the right side because if you get it on the wrong side, then obviously it's not gonna work and you might mess up your shirt. You gotta be careful with that. So make sure that the side, with the side with the design on the back, whatever, is the side that you're, um, you know, printing, putting on the bottom. And so we're just gonna press print here and just wait. All right, so we just got a picture printed and now we have a shirt ready. You know, um, so with this paper, there's two sides to it. So you're gonna have to be pretty careful now to just like split the end. and try to bring it closer so you guys can see what I'm trying to do. So basically there's two half. I can't really pick it because it's like, I don't have any nails. And zooming in my fingers right now probably is weird. I don't like that. All right, I'm gonna just back up. I'll just do this one. All right, so now, guys, since we got it out of the thing, we got our end right here, almost like ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop off the side because we don't really need the side. We just need the, the picture. All right, so guys, I, got, I finally got done. I just did some small, a little design to kind of give it some extra touch because you know we kind of did. So now we're just gonna peel the pieces off. Kind of be careful here. Nothing mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. We just separated the paper like after so much struggle. So now it is ready to be put on the shirt. So now what our next step is to basically lay it in the position we want it to be at. So find my spot. Now that's where your iron, that's where your iron comes to use. And now we're gonna plug it. Okay. All right, so we got the iron, and now we need our dry paper to put on the image, on our picture and I'm gonna put it straight on, flat on it, I'm sure. It's good the way it is right now. So just like that, this iron is both getting hot in my All right, so just like that, I think it's pretty straight the way it is. All right, so, let's go. And this is the step, man, this is the, this is the beauty right here. This is where all the magic happens. And you just iron it. You just iron this. From you iron it for like not even that long to be honest. You don't have to like do a whole like 30 seconds. Like you gotta just do like I guess at least yeah, at least 30 seconds to, to like almost 45 seconds.
doesn't matter which, which side I try right now. Oh my god, please don't fail. Don't fail me. I mean, yeah. I think it's pretty good the way it is right now. Got an image on this one so far. And boom! Voila! That's what I'm talking about. Yo, I think it's pretty sick, man. It's really hot, so this is how you do it, boys. This is how you customize your own t-shirt in your own house. Put in your face. If you need, you put a family member. You could give this to somebody who you love, somebody for the holiday, you know. You do this at home very quick and easy, to be honest. It doesn't really take that long. You just need a printer. You just need the papers. You need the iron and somewhere to actually do this. And it's pretty simple and easy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna now wear this so you guys can see the final look. So, I got the shirt on me. As you guys can see, the result look good. The shirt look good. I look good. <laughs> I look good on the shirt. And you know, like this is pretty easy. I'm feeling pretty swag with it now. It was just simple and plain. And now the fact that you can add your own like design to it, it's pretty easy. I really like the, the little cuts I have on it. They're, I feel like they're pretty cool because it was like too, I didn't want it to just be like a plain square. All right, welcome back guys. Um, I'm back in the room with better lightings, uh, but I am done with the shirt. I hope you guys kind of understand what was going on in, during the time I was explaining it. Um, but so I'm done with the shirt. I'm gonna wear it for you one last time or one more time or I'm just gonna wear it real quick to show you guys how it looks. I think it looks great. So I'm gonna just Oh, see? Yeah, this is how it looks. Um, I think it's it looks pretty good. Like, I mean, it looks way better. I should have worn the shirt before and then kind of like show a before and after, but I forgot I didn't. I just kind of like said, hey, this is the shit I'm using. But as you can see, it came out pretty well. We'll just put the camera a little lower. But yeah, you guys can see, it looks pretty well. Um, I think it's, yeah, man. It's all you could ask for. It looks swag. Now I can rock this shirt pretty much in a new way now. Like, you, you, you didn't even know where this come from. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Um, share the video if you enjoyed it. If you learned something new, guys, please tell me in the comment. Because I really do appreciate making these new videos for you guys. And I really enjoyed making this one. Because now, I am more in love with this shirt. And it's my face on it, bro. Like, look... That's sexy, bro. But thank you, guys, and bye. Peace out.